Father, we do give you all the praise, all the honor, and all the glory. We do thank you for this day, this moment, this privilege, this opportunity to stand before your presence. To the one who has healed our soul, delivered us, and set free, that we get to stand before your presence without sin, without guilt, without shame, without condemnation. Thank you for being our Father. Thank you for being our big daddy God. Thank you for loving us like you do, Father. We honor you today. We thank you for the man and woman of God that you've given unto us as ministry gifts and the persons of Pastors Creflo and Taffy Dollar that's operating in this prophetic apostolic grace, oh God. We thank you that the word is so powerful. It's coming forth from them and through them to us that we can go out and make a mark in somebody's life that cannot be erased. We honor you this morning, Lord God. We get to acknowledge you in all of our ways. Now watch over your word to perform it. Give us ears to hear in our heart what your spirit is saying to the spirit in us. Thank you for burdens being removed and yokes destroyed. And it's in Jesus' name, the name that is named above, every name that is named that we pray and all in agreement say Amen. Come on and give God a great big hand clap of praise this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Honey, I'm telling you, this is a world-changing church where two or three come together in agreement. It's on. Amen. You all may be seated this morning. This is our last Wednesday of 2022. So y'all getting ready for 2023? Yeah. Well, you better get ready. I'm telling you, it's going to be grand. It's going to be great. It's going to be all of that in Jesus' name. Sunday, I had an opportunity I'm standing in the reverend fear of God. I said, Lord, the people, I hope they don't run out on me. Hey, man, know y'all was looking for Pastor Dolly and Pastor Tep on Christmas Day. But thank God that he has a team that they get to, uh, can have time off like we do. In Jesus' name. I'm telling you, if anybody is deserving and worthy, God has put grace on them to take some time off. Come on, let's give God some praise. Amen. Glory to God. I started Sunday talking about when will I be what God says that I am, and I took from that. I'm going to make this a part two uh, that my stance is changing the state, that I'm not going to remain the same. It's impossible. If you get the Word of God in you, the revelation, you get to hear His voice while you're reading His Word, you will be provoked to change. I didn't want to grow Older, I ain't going to say old. I didn't want to grow older and mean and hateful and just folks didn't want to be around me. I had to make a conscious quality decision to allow the Word of God to get in me, to transform me. Let's look at that in NLT and then I'm going to look at it in the message, Romans chapter 12. But this is part two, honey. You, you stand there for it. That's part of your armor. Don't you dare give up, cave in, and quit. If we've come this far by faith, of one of the, uh, my big mama's old sons coming this far by faith, leaning on the Lord, trusting in his holy word, he's never failed to us yet. And so ain't no need of turning around, ain't no need of backsliding, ain't no need of turning coward and giving up, caving in and quitting. No, you stand there for your stance is in Christ and you have everything in you. I'm going to read you a scripture that when I, I've read it before, but man, if God was in Christ and I got Christ in me, I got God in me to help me do everything I'm supposed to do. Amen? Amen. Glory to God. But let's look at this. Hallelujah. Romans 12 and 1, it says, And so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. Has he done anything for anybody in here? Well, whether you think he has or not, he has. The mere fact you sitting in here, he woke your tail up so you can get it this morning. He put gas in your car. If you had to ride the bus, he gave you some tokens to get on the bus. Okay, let me keep reading. Amen. <laughs> He says, and so, dear brothers and sisters, I plead with you to give your bodies to God because of all he has done for you. Let them be a living, holy sacrifice, the kind he will find acceptable. Come on, verse 2. 
This is truly the way to worship him. My life striving to please God is my worship to him. It's not in the singing and it's part of it. But me striving to honor him is my worship to him. Amen. He says, so don't occupy the behavior. Don't copy, excuse me, don't copy the behavior and customs of this world. Don't do it. We're in a whole different kingdom. We got a whole different mindset. But let God, let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. I got it up on my board. My, my first change in my life is the way I think about my life. It's how I think about my life. Am I pleased with my life? And then he reads, he says, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. Say that, I'm good, I'm good. and I'm pleasing, I'm pleasing. To, God to God when I strive, when I strive to, make to make my life a worship, a worship. unto him. Let's look at that in the message. And the message really gets you. <laughs> look at here. He says, so here's what I want you to do. God helping you. Say, all of my help, all of my help. coming from the Lord. Oh. And that's the way I do the Bible. When I'm reading my Bible, I'm talking, I literally talk to myself. I read that word back to me. Faith comes by hearing, hearing by the Word of God. So while I'm reading, like if I was at home now, I would say, so here's what God wants you to do, Carol, and he's going to help you. And then I'll say, help me, God. And now help me to take my everyday, my ordinary life, my sleeping, my eating, my going to work, and, and my walking around life. Help me to place it before you as an offering. I, I can't do it by myself, Lord. Help me do what I just read. You're talking to yourself anyway. Tell yourself what God is saying about yourself. You're looking right at it. And so now you don't have time to be concerned about what this one said, this, and this one said that. No, you know what God said about you. You, you know the instruction. See, that's your stance. The, the word becomes an anchor to your soul. You're able with the word of God to keep your mind steadfast. You're able to keep your mind thinking on things that are good and pure and honest, even when you mess up. You know, you're just going to say, you know what, Lord, I, I err. I take responsibility of that. I'm not going to put the blame on anybody, and I'm trusting you to help me get better. Amen. You in the secret place with the Most High? That's why we're Psalm 91 equipped. We are in the secret place with the Most High. So we are abiding in the shadow of the Almighty, and we get to say, we get to say unto you, Lord, you, you're my refuge, you're my fortress, you're my God. I don't know who you are to everybody else, but you're mine. Yes. Don't let nobody pull you off of who you say you are. And there are people assigned until they get revelation to do that, because you got to remember how you once were. Uh-huh, let me see. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for him. Don't become so well-adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. I ain't got no conviction. Just the next thing you know, you, you back doing what you were doing. And yet you have invited Jesus to come into your life and save you. And that's why you have to ask, you know what, Lord, this is not the way you want me to live. I didn't give my life to you for this. Help me. You got a divine helper. He's in the person of the Holy Spirit. He's your helper, teacher, comforter. He's your intercessor. He helpeth you to pray as you ought to pray. He helps you not to give up, cave in, and quit. 
So that's why Satan fights us trying to pray in tongues. No, you pray in the Holy Ghost. You continue to build yourself up. See, he don't tell you to break yourself down. He said, when, you, when a man prays in tongues, he prays unto God. Let that man pray that he might interpret so his understanding, he'll help you understand. God wants us to understand. Say, help me, Holy Spirit, help me, Holy Spirit. to understand. Whose I am, and I am the righteousness of God by grace through faith. And if I miss the mark, I have a blood bought right to get it right, do it right, because it's right. And that pleases you. Amen. Come on, give God a great big hand clap of praise for that. Honey, so don't become so well adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God. I'm, I'm asking him to help me to become more aware of his presence. You know, just like if a, a person walk up on me, I can tell I, I respond. Y'all get what I'm saying? So you, we, we got to become more spiritually aware of God than we have been, or let me talk to me, than I have been. So I can't get mad with me. Amen. Amen. Let's go to verse 3 for me. You'll be changed from the inside out. Readily recognize what he wants from you, look, and quickly respond to it. Unlike the culture around you, around me, always dragging you down to its level of immaturity, God brings the best out of you, develops well-formed maturity in you. That's why I'm going to keep standing in grace. I'm going to stand in my righteousness that Jesus died for me to have. I, I don't have time to, to backslide and come back and backslide. And, honey, I might backslide and can't get back. No, just, just keep pressing forward towards the mark of the prize of the high calling of God. I have a high calling. Say that I have, I have. A, high a high calling of God. Of God. And, I and I soar like an eagle. Like an eagle. I, don't I don't have time to be low level like a buzzer. Like <laughs> Amen. I'm standing in Christ, man. I'm standing in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. And he's been giving us time. We're still here. So whatever you didn't get an opportunity to do right yesterday or pray yesterday, they don't think about yesterday. You in right now. Do the right now. He's a right now God. He's an ever-present God. That's why I'm grateful. Jesus is not just a Jesus on, on, on Christmas. He my everyday Jesus. He my every situation Jesus. He my every healing Jesus. He my every provision Jesus. Y'all get what I'm saying? You got to make him your everyday. In him you move. In him you live. In him you have his being. Your being is in him. He in you. Glory to God. Amen. Come on over here and let's look at 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank y'all for coming this morning, but I'm going to still talk to myself, so, you know, I do it at home, so I'm used to it. <laughs> Second Corinthians chapter 5, and let's start with verse 11, NLT, NLT. Ooh, this is good. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 11, because... We understand our fearful, or reverent, worshipful fear, responsibility to the Lord. My life, I'm, I'm responsible to God, which will make me do or assist me to do what I need to do when I say I'm going to do it. Amen? Amen. I, I'm just trusting the greater one in me. I thank God that I'm still alive, that I get to make the necessary changes in my life, but not feeling condemned. Or just, I got to do it. I get to do it. 
I, I get to love. I get to forgive. You get what I'm saying? And, and it's healthier. I'm telling you, it's healthier to do what God wants you to do, even if other folks don't understand, even if situations try to overwhelm you. You know what? No matter what it looks like, God, you know what? I'm trusting you. I'm depending on you. And yes, I heard him. Yes, and yes, and yes. Yes, I've had loved ones to go home to be with the Lord. Yes, I've been disappointed. I've done all of that and had it done to me. But you know what? I haven't left God. I haven't left his word, and I won't. He said to remain steadfast, unmovable, and you grow, you develop, you mature from your mistakes if you let the mistakes mature you. But don't stay mad and crazy and who did that. Just thank God that you didn't do it. I, I, I use situations and say, oh, Lord, thank you, Jesus, but let me see that so I know what that'll do. I don't want to do that. Y'all get what I'm saying? Or if I have done it, Lord, thank you for deliverance, and I am not going to do that anymore. But I am not going to stay in condemnation. Because we understand our fearful responsibility to the Lord, we work hard to persuade others. God knows we are sincere. He says, and I hope you know this too, I want people to know that I'm sincere in my walk with the Lord. So I don't have to wear a whole lot of T-shirts. I want to be a demonstration. I want to be a, a living, live demonstration that I am sincere in my walk with the Lord. Not walking perfectly, but maturing as I walk in Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen. Let's go to my next verse, 12. Are we commending ourselves to you again? No. We're giving you a reason to be proud of us so you can answer those who brag about having a spectacular ministry rather than having a sincere heart. That's what we love about our man and woman of God. They don't brag on what goes on here. They brag on God. They brag on Jesus. They're not ashamed of the name of Jesus. They're not ashamed of the gospel, the good news of Jesus Christ, because they taught us it is the power unto salvation to those that believe. So I'm glad I believe so I can have some power for every hour. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God. He said, we're not bragging on no spectacular ministry, but Thank God we got a sincere heart. See, can't nobody see my heart really but God. You can see the actions of my heart. But you, you, you don't know my heart. You can't fool God. You're a fool if you think you can fool God. I'm not trying to fool him. I want to be honest and open. That's how I changed because I was sincere in my heart that I wanted to change. I didn't like backsliding. I tried it. It didn't fit me no more. I was like a fish out of water. And that's why I tell people, if you have sincerely invited Jesus into your life, it's hard to go back to that beggarly life. It says to go back to, in the book of Proverbs, it says to go back to the beggarly elements like a dog lapping up vomit. I don't even like to vomit, let alone try to lick it up. No, I, I, I like to taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. He says, so you can answer those who brag about having a spectacular ministry rather than having a sincere heart. Verse 13. It seems, if it seems we are crazy, it is to bring glory to God. And if we are in our right minds, it is for your benefit. That's why we world changers. We're getting our worlds changed. We're getting our minds transformed. So when people talk about us and look at us, when they ain't going to see no other way out, they're going to be looking for a world changer because they're going to see the difference that we have been transformed and renewed. We ain't got all these issues. We begging and pleading and crying and, and struggling. No, we have had a mark made in our lives, and our, air, our atmosphere has been restored and renewed because we've taken a stance in who we are and the state that we are currently in. No demon or devil in hell is going to pull us from the things of God. Amen? Amen. He says, either way, Christ loves control us. Say, God loves me. God loves me. And I know it. I know it. He says, Christ's love controls us. Since we believe that Christ died for all, 
we also believe that we have all died to our old life. I'm not going to live that old life anymore and pretend I'm Jesus and, and then pretend, uh-uh, honey, you be walking crazy. I ain't doing that. I want to be remain steadfast, unmovable. I want my footsteps ordered of the Lord. I want to stay in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. I didn't die for myself. He died for me. But I died to myself because of the Christ in me. Yes. Glory to God. Come on here. Four, uh, 15. He died for everyone so that those who receive his new life will no longer live for themselves. Instead, they will live for Christ who died and was raised for them. I enjoy just reading the Bible, and that's the Holy Spirit. Help me understand what I just read, and then to help me become what I just read. Amen? Let's go to 16. So we have stopped evaluating others. Come on, this is the one that got me here now. He says, so we have stopped evaluating others from a human point of view. At one time, we thought of Christ merely from a human point of view, how differently we know him now. He's not just a mere man. He's spirit. We invited the Spirit of God and the person of Jesus to come into our lives and save us. Good googly Google. This means that anyone who belongs to Christ has become a new person. Say, I'm a new creature in Christ. Old things have passed away. Behold, I'm new in Christ Jesus. And that's what he says. He says, the old life is gone. A new life has begun. I'm a new creature in Christ. I'm born of his spirit. Glory be to God. Come on, let's keep going. And all of this is a gift from God who brought us back to himself through Christ. And God has given us this task of reconciling people to him. That's why we want to get people born again. The same God that got us born again reconciled us to himself. Do you know that's our assignment? Yes. Believers know how to get believers. You know how you once were. You know what it took to get you born again. You know what you came out of. So it's by the word of your testimony and the blood of Jesus, by the word of God that transform you, the word of God that heal you, the word of God, the word of grace. Now we know it's the word of grace, that we've been committed unto the word of grace. And to see this life we don't even deserve, can't earn it, can't pay for it, can't do nothing, but receive it. It's a gift. And we get to share it with others. It doesn't do you any good to hold the good news inside of yourself. What good is it doing? You're not going to get no expansion if you don't release. And so when people see the change in you, then they'll want to change. They might not come the first time. It happened with me. I don't know how many people came to me trying to get me born again, but I finally received. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> And God has given us this task. That's why our pastors are striving to make sure we don't stay like children, that we're not easily offended, that we walk around in awe and unforgiveness, all that silly stuff. I'm to the point now that this planet, well, the system in this planet, it is so finite, so temporary. I am not going to waste my eternal self on stuff that don't last long. Y'all can call it deep if you want it. It revelated to me. When it's easier for me to walk in forgiveness than to stay in unforgiveness, it's healthier to forgive. I don't care what they did. You got to understand, you did some stuff too. Yeah. And all of this is a gift from God who brought us back to himself through Christ. And God has given us this task of re reconciling people to him. Keep going for me. For God, this is the one that got me. For God was in Christ, 
God, it wasn't even Christ by himself. God was in Christ. Who is Christ? The anointed one of his anointing. He is the wisdom and the power of God. If you look at that in the, no, don't go there. For God was in Christ. What was he doing? He was reconciling the world to himself. Look, no longer counting people's sins against them. Oh, my God, he forgave me even before I forgave myself. Y'all yes. get what I'm saying? He forgave me before I forgave myself. What man of love is that? What man of grace is that? And then he gives you everything you need so you can do it. He didn't just say, Carol, go get saved. I don't know how. He gave me himself to help me do that. If God was in Christ and Christ is in me, I got the hope of glory in me. And we can live this life, my brothers and my sisters. We can live this life. We have been equipped to live it. But not to be pole-mouthing and, and finding fault and all of this. No, God, help me. Help me stand there for, for what I'm standing there for. For God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself, no longer counting people's sins against them. So why should we do it against each other? The God of all creation, the universe, the heavens, the earth, the world, and they that dwell therein, even before it was a human, we were forgiven of all sins. And he gave us this wonderful message of reconciliation. Let's go. So we, now here we go now. You're not just a mere person. You are Christ ambassadors. What's an ambassador? A representative. One translation says you are his personal representative. That's why we have to develop. We have to mature. So we ain't getting the teachings everybody else get. We're getting the teachings that's beneficial to us becoming just like this word we read. That's why you can't, you been about, well, pastor ought to teach this and pastor ought to teach that. But he's teaching what God telling him to teach because he knows the assignment of this church. He knows the assignment. And so Satan does everything he can to pull you off of your stance because you don't think it ought to be like you ought to think it ought to be. <laughs> don't y'all switch me off on that way up. So we are Christ's ambassadors. God is making his appeal through us. So God talks to me. I hear his voice. And a stranger's voice, I will not follow. God saved me through his son Jesus for this assignment to be his ambassador of grace. That's what it's for. So we had to get in the right brook, the church under the proper teaching so we can change. Because I had been to other churches. Man, I could go in there and sing in the choir and come back and get in my car and smoke a joint just like I ain't never been in there. <laughs> it wasn't no word anchoring my soul. I, I could come right on out, get on the phone, and, 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 try, and, and not try, and go meet somebody that, you know, with my hoods. Yeah, yeah, that's all I'm going to say. Mm -hmm. But you see what I'm saying? I didn't have an anchor. I, I didn't have any understanding to, to anchor my soul, to help me think better about myself, to help me think the way God thought about me. And once I started doing that, I started changing my stance. I became, I, I, I didn't move over there as fast, or go with that one as fast, or do this. Because it, you, you get on a slow motion when you're moving with God, but yet you're at his speed. Let me keep on going. We speak for Christ when we plead, come back to God. So 
to when those people were trying to get us born again, all they would say, come on, y'all, come on to God, come on. What, what, ain't nothing that, what, you backslide, what's back there? Nothing. Waste of time, waste of emotions, that person ain't changed. Check that out. You backslide to something ain't changed. That you want to change, you wish it would change, but it ain't changing because it's in a whole different state, a whole different kingdom than what you're in. You've changed your state of being back there. God wants you right here in his presence. He, he's your very present help. He's your right now God. He's your eternal, everlasting man. I found the scripture that said he is God immortal, king eternal, everlasting father. We're going to go to that. Let me come, keep going right here. For God made Christ who never sinned to be the offering for my sin. See, I, that's why I read my Bible is talking to me. The offering for my sin so that we could be made right with God through Christ. Come on, let's read that together. Ready to read. For God made Christ who never sinned to be the offering for our sin so that we could be made right with God through Christ. Someone who never sinned became sin so we could become the righteousness of God. Let's see that in the message, verse 20 and 21. Praise God. Just reading will help you. Don't, don't wait till you come on these grounds to, to read the scriptures on the screen. Read them at home. Practice who you are at home. Praise you, Jesus. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Let's pray in the Holy Ghost right there. He who knew no sin began to bundle it. And gave us teachers to help us understand. Thank you for the utterances. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you for what you're doing for our members online. On our e-church, there's no distance in the spirit. Let your glory fill us, Lord. God, Thank you for the victories in an emotion. In your name, Jesus, hallelujah for your name. Man the Ekelebo Sturi Hell Amen the Ekele Mastai. And Amakasa Celebro Boho Digineme. Ella Baba Boko Yakande Brabale or God and there is Vera Ankalame Esakaya. Oh glory to God, Lama Gesso to no Ginema. Ella Bese Ketele Baba Bokoya. Thank you for loving us like you do, Lord, and pouring your love in our hearts by the Holy Ghost and you helping us to love one another. Get the by Isaroda. Ella Makioshteke. You're helping us to be patient one with another, Lord God. And the good work that you've started in us, you're well able to complete it. Oh, Father, we give you praise today. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you that it's never, ever a waste of time to spend time with you in your word, Lord God, making our confessions, Lord God, of who we are in you. Oh, God, hallelujah. We get to build ourselves up as we pray in tongues. I don't know how you were before you got online or how you were when you came in here, but thank God for the change that's changing. We're strong in you, O oh God, and in the power of your might. Oh God, Dada Boko Yonde, Elebekia Sataya. Glory, 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 glory. 
Thank you for your glory. Thank you for victory, Lord God. In every situation, we have victory, Lord God. We pass tests. We have victory in you, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ooh, God has given us the task of telling everyone all what he is doing. We are Christ's representatives. God uses us to persuade men and women to drop their differences. Our differences are not trying to, to make us be better than anybody, but our differences coming together builds us up and strengthens us. It's not to make you look bad because you're different, but we bring those differences together to strengthen that's how this other stuff get in. We, we try to magnify the, the wrong. Well, you ain't this and you ain't that. Well, I'm different than you. But take my difference with your difference for the good and let's walk this thing out. We're brothers and sisters in Christ. We are to fitly join together. We're compacted in this body of believers. And if we are believers in the body of Christ, we ought to be believing like Christ. We ought to be loving like Christ, forgiving like Christ, healing like Christ, blessing like Christ, gracious like Christ, merciful like Christ. Either we is or we ain't. Woo! God uses us to persuade men and women to drop their differences and enter into God's work of making things right between them. We're speaking for Christ himself now. Become friends with God. He's already a friend with you. Woo! My God. Listen, I think I left us with this Sunday. 2023, there is a level of living in glory. And we learn glory in ain't the cloud. Glory is victory God showing in your life. Say, I am victorious. I am, victorious. I am more than a conqueror. I, am more than a conqueror. I wore a good warfare. And I fight the good fight of faith because I rest in the finished works of Jesus. Twenty twenty three, that is a level of living in glory and victory that only grace can give us. Say I'm full of grace and glory and no good thing will he withhold from me because I'm the righteousness of God. It says this upcoming year, and I made this personal. You can make it personal, but I put, I am not going to be as I am right now. God is working on getting stuff out of me right now. So you're going to be challenged. People are going to come into your life to help you develop. Don't argue with them humans. They have assignment to help you get better if you don't get offended and try to defend yourself. See, if you're never challenged, you don't know you need to change. If you're never challenged, you don't know how much you have changed. Don't get mad with humans. We need each other. We need one another. And when we get the revelation of how we really are different and bring those differences of the good and allow grace to perfect and correct us, that's what I love about the fivefold ministry gifts for the perfecting, maturing, developing of the saints that we don't may, remain like children tossed to and fro about the slate and cunning craftiness whereby men, mankind, humankind, they lie in wait to deceive us. But these gifts, 
that we said we've submitted ourselves to this covering, this teaching, they help us to grow up in the fullness and the stature of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Come on, give God some praise. Amen. Amen. Woo, 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 woo. Thank you, Jesus. So we're we, we going to stand there for but what we're standing there for, remember in Jeremiah 29, 11, God got plans and thoughts about us that are good and not evil with a hope and a future to give us an expected end. And he expects us to end up just like he said we would. Amen. Amen. But you give yourselves to the meditation of the word of God. Put up that um, um, media for that self, we, it's part of one of our confessions. And it, it just hit me this morning when I heard it. But it says, all of my days are filled with abundance and prosperity because Jesus is Lord over all. This is the part I like. I choose to be a vessel through which his will, his grace can be done in the earth. In Jesus' name, you got to choose to want to do it because you're choosing what you want to do. Let's choose to be a blessing to God in this earth. Our bodies are the temples of the Holy Ghost, so let him live in them and live through them. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you for this morning. We also thank you that this is an opportunity to assist people in getting reconciled back to you. Thank you for your grace to win souls, grace to bring people out of darkness into the kingdom of your dear son. And if you're online this morning, if you are here with us and you have not received Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior, please repeat this after me. Heavenly Father, I thank you for your son Jesus who died for me who shed his blood for me, that I can be saved. Lord Jesus, come into my life and save me. Thank you for forgiving me of all my sins and cleansing me from all unrighteousness. I decree and I declare, and I confess with my mouth, the Lord Jesus... He is my Lord and my Savior, and I'm a new creature in Christ right now. Thank you, Lord, that I'm reconciled back to you in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, let's give God a thanks for the ones that just came out of darkness into the kingdom of his dear son. Glory be to God. And if you just pray the prayer of salvation with me today, Text the keyword, I'm saved, as one word to 51555. Provide your name and email address, and we'll send you a free ebook as a gift to you today to help you continue in your walk with the Lord. And we're going to still make mistakes, but my God, at least I ain't making them on purpose now. I used to make them on purpose. But now, I don't make them on purpose anymore. Amen. So we thank God for your names being added to the Lamb's Book of Life in Jesus' name. And if you are in here locally, then we can minister to you at the end of the service. So those of you who want to uh, just, let's worship the Lord in our offerings. Let's give unto the Lord joyfully, cheerfully. He knows what you have. He knows everything. And I said, if the, the, the richest human on this planet, uh, that you need offering envelopes, please raise your hand. I have a few hands up here. Praise God. If you need an offering envelope, please raise your hands. But I thought about, honey, if you was the richest monetary human on this planet, it would still not be enough to give what Jesus has done for us. So anything that you give from your heart in obedience that he tells. Because you know what I had to reckon myself with? He know what I got. I can't hide my bank account. 
I can't have my savings account. I can't have my investment account. So I can't act like I didn't hear him tell me what I'm supposed to get. <laughs> I always see it as a setup. Yeah. I see it as a setup. That he getting ready to bless me. What? Okay. You be a little shaky. Oh, but when that harvest comes, you're going to be dancing. Amen. Amen. Let's hold our offerings up. I didn't bring my phone with me, but... Father, we thank you for all the privileges of being in the body of Christ. And thank you, Lord God, that uh, we don't have to be begged or poked or harassed to give you an offer. We do it freely from our heart. Freely you have given us, and freely we get to return. And we know this money doesn't do you any good, but you are receiving the attitude of what we do. Thank you. It's a joyful cheerful attitude of giving because we're thankful and grateful for all that you have done. We'll bless people. We're empowered to prosper, to have good success and total life prosperity. We get to live long and we get to live strong, wiser and wealthier like never before. Blessed to be a blessing. Thank you for your presence and your peace in our giving. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. You all can take up the offerings now, ushers, or we do it going out. Amen, amen. Well, let's stand and be dismissed. And uh, I'm telling you, I'm excited for the new year. This 2023, glory to God. I'm expecting God to show himself stronger and mightier on my behalf so my family can know, oh, her God is real. Uh-huh. They're going to be running to me in Jesus' name. Let's lift our hands. Father, thank you for the blessing of you that is upon each and every one of us and those that are online. Bless families today like never before. Continue to be an expression in this earth through us as world changers to make a mark in the lives of those we come in contact with. Thank you for the truth of your word, the revelation knowledge of your word, the spiritual wisdom of your word, the enlightening of the eyes of our understanding of your word of grace. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory. And since we belong to you, that's our stance in you, then yours and ours, it is the kingdom and the power and the glory. And it's in Jesus' name we leave this place, but not your presence. All is well, and well is all. In Jesus' name we pray. And all in agreement, say amen. You all are dismissed in God's presence. Amen. What if we could take every groundbreaking message on grace, all the life-changing sessions from conferences, and every radical interview with the stars and those with inspirational stories that moved us, and share them with you 24 hours a day, now we can. This is our network. It can all be found here. Changing Your World Network. Streaming hope, grace, and the wisdom of God with simplicity and understanding. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for free. Download the Creflo Dollar Ministries app on your smart TV and streaming devices. Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, and begin streaming. Changing Your World 24-hour network through the app today. Visit cywn.tv for more information now.